afternoon. How are you? Happy Friday. I hope you're all well and um, enjoying the weather. It's beautifully sunny here. I know I have to mention the weather every single week. We've got a fantastic launch for you today. I know many of you have already been shopping ahead and I don't blame you because we've got a major surprise launch and that means that you need to be extra quick in popping this into your basket and going through a checkout because Sam's launches never hang around for very long and this is no exception. It's the beautiful Magic Color Slide Collection. Now, I remember making these types of cards many years ago, but I had to do it all by hand. And to be honest, the only reason I didn't continue doing them is because it took so long. Now, I've not seen how these mechanism work, work, what mechanisms work, but I'd imagine it's going to take all of that t time and effort out of the process for you, leaving you with absolutely fantastic magic cards with less of the effort. So just a very, very quick hello to a few people because I do always forget this. So uh, right back to the beginning, the first person was uh, Shonya. Hello, hello, how are you? Lynn Parsons, hello to you. Carmen says, hello, Sam, Lou and everybody. We've got Tammy, we've got Christine, Anita, Selene. I won't go through everybody, we'll be here forever. Lots of you watching. Now, we are giving away a wonderful prize bundle. Sam and I have just been checking to make sure that it's winging its way to Sam. So if there's a sellout today, you will still get the new product. So that's three of the new products from this new collection. Okay, so maybe you it sells out and you don't get a chance to get it. Very often happens. Maybe your friend would love it next week and you think, oh, do you know what? Have mine because I've got a prize coming. You never know, it could happen to you. All you need to do is be commenting, okay? That's all throughout the ad, just be commenting. We know you always are. We will give you a third chance to win as well. We're gonna pick two live winners at the end of this hour. The third chance we will give you at the end. We'll tell you where to go for that. Right, now we need to go and speak to the lady herself, first of all. It's the lovely Sam Calcott. Good afternoon, Sam. Hello. Hey, Hello. everyone. Oh, you know when you go to speak and it's like, oh, <clears throat> sorry, just clear my throat. Hi. <laughs> Hi, how are you? <laughs> I'm really well, thank you. We were just saying it's nice it's Friday. It's yeah. always good doing a launch on a Friday, I think, because it's like, I, love it. I don't know, I've built up all this week. Now yeah. I'm here. Everyone's excited. And Absolutely. then the weekend you can go and enjoy everything. I always wake up on a Friday and I always feel a little bit excited, a little bit giddy. There's a lot of preparation goes into these launches throughout the week, isn't there? And then it's Friday, it's finally here and we have a delayed lunch hour. We were just say, saying, <laughs> it's always at lunchtime. We'll, we'll pop a few things in our mouth now, but it's kind of like once we get to that Friday lunchtime, we can just relax and yeah, and, yeah enjoy the weekend. Anyway. Yeah. This launch, this collection is fantastic. Um, I you. love what you can do. I've, I've seen so many photos. They'll be up on the website now and images. You've been sharing things. What is it all about? So it's the magic slider card, picture slider. I, like you said, I remember them as a child in my like books that I would have as a child. But I also remember it was like cartridge paper. It was navy blue or something and you would pull it and there would be a plastic and it would lift and it would reveal it was to do with banking or something anyway. So the concept has been around like most things for decades, but I've put my twist on it. So I've done my good sizes, six by six, five by seven, which everybody loves. Great. And some really nice stamp sets, which again, will work across all past collections as well. Amazing. So what we're gonna do is I think quite early, we're gonna get straight into demonstrations. So I'm gonna allow you to flip your um, camera over in just a second. You're okay to show us through your new product and any samples and things and then go into demo. We'll do that. I'll just come back and I'd like to remind people of something else while they're here as well. So we'll come back to you in two minutes. Perfect. Thanks, Thank Lou. Thank you. Lovely. So hold your horses. It will be two minutes and then we'll be back to Sam for those demonstrations. But did you catch the live on Wednesday evening? Craft Stash had another live where we launched another collection. There's, do you know what? Craft Stash have thousands of new products in every single week. So um, you need to be keeping on top of these new launches. Now, I want to show you this because it's absolutely beautiful. I've just thrown my phone, which has thrown my glasses on the floor. So I now can't see anything for the rest of the hour. Um, have a look at this on my desk. This is beautiful. So this is from Craft Stash & Co. If none of you have ever seen it before, this is a brand that's designed, I say designed in-house. We get the most fantastic 
clever designers in to design a collection each. It's a one-off collection and this one has been designed by the lovely Marta de Beechka. Now she is so talented and I just wanted to show you this in case you missed it because Wednesdays we're still getting used to having a live on a Wednesday aren't we? We're still and it's not always the same time either so I know some of you can miss it sometimes. So just very quickly we have got some absolutely stunning floral papers here. They are really beautiful and Marta's designed all of these herself. She's got beautiful dies as well, die sets and it's called on the border this collection you can see lots of border edging dies we've got scallops and lace elements in here we've got beautiful pockets and such in there too and I mean the amount of dies in here is phenomenal and they all mix and match and create different uh, different concepts we've then got two sets of stamps as well to complete the collection some sentiments there and then we've got a beautiful lace border and some florals so do go back and check out that live have a look online that's the craft stash and co brand and that's by Marta de Beechka. It's called On The Border. Uh, if you'd like to take a look at this, if you love your florals, your lace, your maybe your vintage, your shabby chic, we've also got videos coming up next week on YouTube using these. Go and have a look. I think there's still some stock left. So, uh, Sam, are you okay if we come back to yourself? I got a thumbs up, yay. There we go. Sam, I'm just gonna leave you to talk us through everything that you've got, because you know it better than anyone. Okay, thank you, Lou. So I'd already been sharing a lot on my own social media this morning and I shared some little sneak peeks over the last couple of days as well. So basically, like I said, if you're just joining, this is the Magic Slider collection. So here's an example here. This is the five by seven. And when you pull the top, you will reveal the colored image underneath. But what I also wanted to do is to be able to have it work both ways. So if you've seen these kind of cards before, or if you've seen them in children's books, you can sometimes have the reveal and the color at the top. I'm going to be sharing a separate video on that. I'm not going to do it today because it can take not too long, but it was, it's just going to, you know, we'll run over way too long. But let me show you an example, I'm trying to remember which one here. So now when I pull the card, the colour wow. and the image reveal from the top. Love that. So That's... just, you know, down to preference that day, you might just want to create something different. Some of you might prefer having it from the top, but I'll show you this version it will be in a separate video. And I've already got tutorials ready to go up this weekend as well. Fabulous. And then again, that one just slides back down just like the other ones. So I'll go through more samples in a moment. Let's just talk through exactly what you get in this latest release. So I tried to make sure that the main mechanisms will work with a lot of your past stamps. So if you've got, I've got a pile of them here, but if you've got your out in space, your travel from the flip collection, the recent simply pop-ups, even down to the lovely cute kittens and the, the dogs, these will all work in these die sets. So bring out your old sets, you know, reinvent mm. them again, even the under the water from the slide and reveal. And I thought the space one, which is the one I had on top, the space one was really popular in, in the um, mm -hmm. the reveal wheel yeah. collection. Mm -hmm. I imagine a really nice kind of space theme and it's really plain, just black and white on the front. And then when you pull that card, you get this great galaxy and colours. Oh. And I Do think you know it would look thinking? wonderful. I'm wondering if you could <laughs> if you could kind of incorporate some sort of like UFO with the beam of light coming up. Yeah. There's down. just so many oh. cool ideas and I can't wait to see because I know a lot of people just go for these. They literally, I've got a couple of ladies that always message me saying, yeah, grab the mechanism. Yeah. And then they've just got so much stuff that they then go and just go crazy and they create these really cool cards. So yeah. I can't wait to see what everyone's going to share. So you've got your five by seven and your six by six. They do exactly the same thing, but there's a slight different configuration just to keep things a little bit different. So with the six by six, you have a mat layer to go on the pull tab. But on the five by seven, you have a mat layer to go on the top of your card. So just to give them a slight difference, but they will do both, you know, exactly the same. I did look online and the five by seven is in the lead at the moment, which oh, usually cool. it's the six by six. Ah, and it's so, actually the, um, a sneaky peek. It's actually the five by seven, isn't it, that we're going to be sending out as uh, yes. the prizes? It is indeed. So mm. three lucky winners. We'll have a chance of winning a wonderful bundle and it will be the five by seven mechanism with some other bits and you can see nice big dies these will also all go through a standard die cutting machine so you don't need your large format if you've got an extender plate then that's just going to help you pass it through once but if you don't and i've used lots of dies in the past before i had an extender plate just tape it down run it through and then shift it along and run it through again and it will cut that whole thing for you but yeah really nice set of dies there and you'll we'll see them in more detail in a moment mm -hmm. we've then got lovely paper pad here i just wanted some backgrounds because 
you can see how much of it you actually, you know, it's not it's not about showing off beautiful pattern papers, this collection, but you do want a little bit of colour just added to the edges. So you've got these wonderful backgrounds here, so bright and beautiful, and they're just going to work across, you know, all your occasions, really. Yeah, they're just nice lovely. ones to pull out. Christmas time as well, these are going to work. Just and there's just bring, a nice yeah, variety of colours there. Mix and match with all sorts, can't they? Yeah, exactly. So you can see you've got your grid and your kind of dotty one there stripes got little um dashes there kind of could be candles as well i think the way you look at them and um, that one there yeah. as well that's a good one for the underwater um, oh yes so it's kind of got like that wave kind of feel to it as well so just some really lovely papers there. and i love the smell of new papers you know when you get oh, i can smell it yeah I love we, it. All, <laughs> we all do that don't well those of us who have been paper crafting a little while we get used to that yeah definitely yeah paper paper <laughs> addicts um then we've got three lovely die sets so these stamp and die combos they all come with the dies i'm going to talk about this one in a moment and if you've been on my social and watched my release this morning you already know about that one but you've got these here and Again, this one's in the lead, and I'm so glad I've got this one now because lots of people have been asking me for masculine makes as well. Yeah. So I've done some really nice masculine cards with this one, but this right. is Have a Drink on Me. You've got your dies there to cut everything out. Well, it's the weekend. And it is the weekend, isn't it? This, it's always, what is it? Always 5 p.m. somewhere in the world. Absolutely. Um, <laughs> <laughs> it might be 9 in the morning here. <laughs> yeah. This one here is like your fancy beer. I didn't want to go for a tankard. No. They've just been done so much, whereas I think this one will work for, you know, whether, you know, but my dad likes see, to drink a beer out of this kind of glass, for example. With an umbrella in the top as well for a cocktail. So this is the thing. On the cocktail, you simply change your colours. Oh, there we go, look. And you've got a pina colada with some cream on the oh, top yes. and an umbrella. So, again... It, if Gorgeous. you just had the tankard, we were just restricted. But if you've done something like this, it could be both. And you'll see that in the samples. You've got your teacup there as well. So you could have fruit teas if people don't want to have anything to do with the alcohol side of things. And then this can be, you know, other cocktails as well. And you've got your whiskey there and then another bottle and your beer bottles there as well. And then this one here, you've got birthday rainbows. Everybody always loves a birthday one. I always think, oh, should we do another one with a cake or something? But they're well, always popular because there's always someone new joining the craft isn't there so and i think we we send probably more birthday cards than anything else yeah definitely so this one you've got your cluster of balloons uh sentiments like i only came for the cake it's your wedding day you can now eat the cake because that's the one thing that i think we all kind of limit ourselves on if we've got any kind of occasions because we cut out all the sweets so i thought that was a good one enjoy the carbs diet starts tomorrow <laughs> at the end of every storm there's always a rainbow this is a lovely one one of my favorite cards actually is using that set lovely. and then you've got birthday celebrations the cake slice there which is meant to represent you yeah. know the piece you've taken from that one there right. and the cupcakes and so on and then this one here so lovely beautiful set but unfortunately due to a um an issue <laughs> when this was being produced these ones the dies were never flipped now there is yeah. a little pop-up that will come up if you do put this in your basket you will get a free download mm -hmm. to receive the flipped images however i do also want to show you a quick little tip on how you can still get these dies to work brilliant and cut out everything there and we're going to do that in the interval like in between the two demos that okay. i've got lovely um so yeah so really lovely but you don't actually really need the dies a lot of the time for the stamping because it's all stamped within the you know, on the acetate and stuff. So, but really nice. You got your mason jar style there and your glass. And then ha I love this sentiment. Happy birthday to my blooming favorite human. Forever flowers from my forever friend. And this one here, thank you for being an amazing friend Aww. who brings color into my world. And that one would work really well with the rainbow as well. Yeah, definitely. Love that. And then lastly, we've got the edition set. So the, the last, I think, three collections we've done the edition sets and they've been really popular. So this one here... You've got just basically a bit for everything. So mm -hmm. I love the disc. This has got the beer. It's almost like a beer token or something. I just yeah. think this is such a cool looking one there. That's Again, you'll one. see all this in a minute when I go through some samples quickly. Great. You've got your fruit slice here, but it can be any fruit. You know, I've coloured it in a few different colours. And um, a shout out to Gemma as well. I know Gemma's watching my design team. She's done some wonderful cards and I'll show you those in a moment. And then you've got some lovely flowers here, which you can paper piece straw spoon the cocktail um sorry cocktail the umbrella some hearts tea bag which is really cool it's, yeah, it's music really notes set, isn't it <laughs> yeah it's just got a bit of everything mm. in it so hopefully it, 
you know, just be maybe an add on for things that you might already have, but also just a nice starter, I guess, for someone new starting out. You know, there's a little bit, like I said, of everything in there. And a lot of these can be used as stencils as well. So you've got your design here, but use this as a stencil. Use your inks and you get nice details in the um, the die cut image there. And same with the umbrella. It's those little bits there that bring it together. Sorry, I assume they'll all go through your die cutting machine. Yes. Yeah, these would all go through the mini. Yes. So Lovely. yeah, you've got your good mention there actually, Lou. I'll just bring it in. You got your your that mini made nice. a surprise there. <laughs> then uh, Do you know what? Yeah, I've just ordered mine this morning. <laughs> in fact, I think most of the let me just check. Yeah, so yeah, those will go through. through. Um probably one of the largest, isn't it? Yeah. The yeah, cake? that would. That. Yeah. Yep, so there those all will. And those definitely will because they're all thin, so there you go. Yeah, result. <laughs> Another little plug that I didn't think to do. Excellent. <laughs> um, right, so that's all of the product. Let me show you some more samples, and then we'll get into the first demo. So I showed you this one here. So you got the um, the cocktail there. Things to do today: drink margaritas and drink more margaritas. <laughs> I am a margarita drinker, so Are when you? we were going through this one, I said there has to be a margarita glass. So. Absolutely. Very <laughs> we've nice. got that one there. Um, we've got this rainbow one. So when, oh, this one reveals from the top as well. So you can see the, the rainbow. I love that. From the top. Anything with a, a pull, pull tag or tab, it yeah. just encourages the receiver to, to, to do yeah. things with it, to be interactive with it. And um, you don't have to put this on a card. This on its own is its own pocket. So you could turn it into a gift tag. Lovely. Um, you could probably get creative and put a gift card in there as well in some way. Mm. If you lifted it up on foam, when you pull the card up, there could be a gift card in there. Ah. so we can play around i do these kind of things when i do my friday mix and match um so they're definitely things that i can look at and then this one here i love this one so you see what i mean so even though there's the the dies aren't flipped mm-hmm. you don't need the dies at all to make that card no. anyway well there's those little flowers there i guess but Just you can see correct. how that one looks there and these are all the papers i love this one here have a neat birthday <laughs> and I've got the 3D ice cubes oh, there as well popped up. And there's that disc, so the two tankards kind of cheers it there. Kind of looks I like just wood looks from nice. here. Sorry? It looks like it's been burnt into wood from here. I don't know what you've used for that disc there at the bottom. It's just white. I die cut it in white and then just use my brown ink on it. Ah. It, um, it also could sort of team as a perfume bottle, that one. Yeah. I think. And then... We've got this one here. This is one that Gemma done. I love that she's used the holographic cardstock as the insert. So it doesn't always have to be white. So you can see when you pull that one up, then it reveals the coloured image. I just love all the shine and everything. I mean, I'm a sucker for this cardstock. Anything with the holographic and I'm... Lovely. <laughs> That's it. Really I'm, I'm sunk in. And then she's also done one here where she's heat embossed onto the um acetate okay. so you don't have to always stamp so i'm going to talk about the inks and stuff in a moment and she's done a similar one there like the one i showed mm-hmm. at the beginning and then you pull this one that's an ombre card behind it oh that's pretty. So it just gives you you know there's quite an easy way so that one doesn't actually um involve any coloring no no Perfect. you know it's just a clever way of using the card stock and then the um embossing you can see the slices there she's made them more like orange slices whereas on some i've got them like a lemon um okay. so some really nice ways to use it there and then another one she's done here she's gone crazy with the balloons on this one <laughs> <laughs> loads of balloons but again yeah i mean if you want to make sure it stays in the envelope keep it within the five by seven but we make our own envelopes most of us as of crafters so you can you know change that up and then go through the six by six so i showed you that one just now where it opens from the top mm-hmm. so you can see i've got the five by seven there and then the six by six but like i said we'll do a video on that um, one of my favourites is this one. Love its simplicity. Just really quite clean, nice yeah. little, you know, cluster nice with the dies there. You've got the little tea bag and the spoon. And then a cup of tea makes everything better. And then oh, you can see that's, there. I think that would have to be the one for me. <laughs> <laughs> the first thing we do as, you know, Brits is if there's ever an emergency, ever anything goes on, we always say, let me put the kettle on. Oh, absolutely. Um, so Second yeah, someone walks in your house, I'll put the yeah. kettle on. Want a cuppa? Um, then I've done this one here. So I brought out my stencils from the whatever the weather set and oh, yeah. I used the rainfall. So I stenciled this pool piece. You'll see out of all of these, they're all just white or, yeah. or block colour. But this one I've decided to put the pattern in and I actually think it works really well. So at the end of the storm, there's always a rainbow. So now when you pull this, oh, it reveals the colour. Nice. 
really nice, isn't it? And that they that just kept lovely. those primary colours with the, the icons there yeah, in the set. Sweet. And then another one that Gemma's done. Don't worry, be happy. I'm starting <laughs> to hum that hum that song. And then you pull this one. Great. And you can see there. This, what is it about something that's actually relatively simple, but yeah. it just fills you with... I could just sit and watch you do this all day. <laughs> actually, I've got lovely this arch form in there. I didn't even realise. Yeah. Um, and then this one here, I only came for the cake. You can see there, diet starts tomorrow. And this has just built up the oh, yeah. flowers there. So it's the same flower that I've used there where I've just paper pieced it back together. Mm -hmm. But this one, I just left it all open and just layered it up. Lovely. And gone with a different kind of colourway. And then another one here that Gemma's done. You pretty, can see she's got all the shine pretty. there and everything. And then one more by Gemma. This one here. And she's just got the cake slice in the middle. Life's always better with cake. Lovely. Gorgeous. So that is all the samples. And then I'm going to do two nice new ones today. So let's just, I'm not going to put them all back in. I'm just going to sit them all neatly on top of each other. <laughs> I'll just, while you're just getting ready for your first demo, I'll just pop back yep. and remind people of any offers we've got today. Okay. Um, so what we do have is, at the moment, all of the items are on the website, or as of 12.30, they were still all there and in stock. Um, obviously, throughout the hour, things will occasionally sell out. Um, the cheapest option is 8 99 I mean, it's pocket money, hopefully, for some of you. Um, that, I believe, is the paper pad, but it's 8 99 upwards. Um, but if you're buying bundles, you can get up to £12 off. So uh, definitely take a look at the bundles, because you may well be saving yourself quite a few pretty pennies there um lovely so not too much to talk to you about today it's a made to surprise day instead so there are other offers and such over on craft stash if you pop over to craftstash.co.uk or craftstash.us um, simply go to the new in the launches there's offers bargains there's lots of different tabs and banners you can go and click on to find everything that's going on and everything does change on a daily basis even throughout the weekend you would not believe how much work the team put in to making sure that you've got fresh offers every single day of the week even saturday and sunday so just make it with your morning coffee or tea or whatever you like to drink in the morning just make it part of your routine to go and check craft stash and see what's available and what's new that day right i think sam is just about ready for demonstration so we'll go back and i'm going to sit and watch this and enjoy thank you lou so first of all i'm going to start off with the five by seven i'm going to show you some masking with this one because um you don't just have to have the single image you can see here i've just layered up the bottles there but i've had to do this before because it's good to let this dry so mm -hmm. you just you know it's not something you can just stamp straight away you can then make the card which i've done with some of the samples but if you look closely i've caught it when i should have left it to dry so but i'm going to show you the steps today so Using the five by seven set here, I've die cut everything so we can just focus on the stamping. But I've just ran through the largest one there, and that will give you your piece here. And this is like the pocket. Right. And then what I've done is I just took my grid stencil from a past collection, mm -hmm. and I just popped some copy paper at the end here just so I could de decorate this portion, and then just fold that over. Lovely. And then you can see your space you've got there. Now you can stamp your image that you want to color directly onto here. Yeah. However, I like to have it as a separate piece because when I go to stick this in, it's nice to have a little bit of wiggle room because you want to perfectly line up the images. Yeah, cool. So I recommend having it separate, which I'll talk about in a moment. Okay. So in fact, we'll go on to that now. So I've got these two pieces here. Now you do need acetate for all of these cards. So your window sheet, acetate, some people might use the packaging from, you know, all kinds of things that we receive. Um, I used to always save the packaging from my stamps and die sets, but in a good way, I guess now, a lot of companies are stopping that plastic. So I haven't got as much of that anymore. Like for myself, all of mine comes in Which, the, the cardboard yeah, packaging. It's a good thing, but yes. not if you want to do this. <laughs> <laughs> but window sheet, you, even if it's the flimsy stuff, will be fine because you're sticking it onto the cardstock. Yeah. So as long as it's clear, um, then you can use that. And the cardstock that I'm using is my 300 GSM Smooth. Um, pretty much what I use on everything. The other thing you're going to need is I'm using the stays on ink here. You want a ink that will stick to acetate. The stays on will go on to glass, metal, wood, lots of different surfaces. And it's a great ink for any porous surfaces, which obviously the acetate is. I also like to store mine upside down. Yeah. It's a felt based ink pad. And I find that these actually work much better when they're upside down. 
so that inks on there and you want this to be a nice juicy pad the pad is very old you can see it's all worn on the edges but i just use the re-inkers so yeah lovely stays on is going to be your best friend with this one Perfect. So first of all, I've cut myself these two pieces here, which is just using the plain, simplest die in each of the sets. Um, you can see this one just here. So just run that through twice, one in acetate and one in the white card. So first of all, I want to create. So I'm going to just show you how I created this, and then I'm going to flip to these here, which are already done. So put that all to one side. Let me grab my stamp set. So thank you, everybody. I'm seeing all your comments flash by. I was just going to say. Really nice, everybody. Thank I feel you. a bit rude that I've not actually <laughs> um, gone to any of them. If anybody's got a question for Sam whilst she's demonstrating, if you put it in capitals, I'll try and keep an eye out for them. Um, but I think Sam explained <laughs> things so well that we don't need We just sort of sit in gross, don't we, instead? <laughs> Okay, so I've just placed this. Now, when you've got your um, stamping platform, like I said, it's going to be your best friend for this. If you've got a corner in your stamping platform, just make sure it's in the same corner. I'm just lining mine up with a marker here. It happens to be the seven inch marker. And that's the, the marker I'm using, you know, when I do all of this. So I'm going to take the beer bottle here. What I've also done is I've made myself a mask. So I've just got a piece of low tack um, sticky roll here. You can use post-it notes. You can even use copy paper with a very um, light spray of a, you know, spray adhesive. Mm -hmm. This is what we need to be able to mask off the areas so that we can keep um, this bottle where we want it to be. So I like to just take this one here and just sit it. You don't want the top of this piece of card to come past this bit here when we go to stick it in, but it's good to just kind of place this roughly over the top here for the minute. So you can see where you want to position your, you know, icons, make sure they're in the middle. So I'm gonna have the bottle out there and then just remove that you don't need it anymore but now i can just see that that's kind of you know where i need it to be so first of all i'm going to i need to concentrate on this bit a minute because i want to make sure i get all my orders right because you don't move your stamps the stamp is the thing that has to stay okay. and the amount of samples i was making and i shifted it and i'm cursing myself i'm like oh my oh. god stop moving that stamp so just make sure you leave it there so stamping this one first Let's just give that another ink, like so. <laughs> I thought I had a question here, but because it's in capitals, but it's not. It's uh, Tatties on YouTube saying, sit on your hands, sit on your hands. <laughs> <laughs> okay, leave the stamp. You now want to remove this piece, okay. and we're going to go to the acetate piece. Pop it into the same marker. Make sure it's nice and clean. I always give my acetate a little spritz of some rubbing alcohol. This is also known as surgical spirit. Mm -hmm. And then just buff it off with a bit of kitchen towel or a microfiber cloth. So make sure it's nice and clean. And then we're going to ink this up. So it's in exactly the same place on the same size piece. In this case, it's acetate, but they're both in exactly the same place. So give it a nice press. So now we've got that transfer. Perfect. Now this is where your mask's going to come in. So you're going to take your mask. Now I would just give that just five, 10 minutes, just let it kind of, you know, just initially dry. But I'm going to stick this over just to show you okay. how we then mask off. So that's in place. So now I want to move this. I've stamped both of these in the same place. This is fine. Yep. We can now move this stamp. So I'm just going to give it a quick little spritz with some water and just give that a quick wipe use my cloth there because we need to place it now down in another area but because we've just masked that piece we can now that middle um, bottle is always going to be at the front so now this one I'm going to place a little bit higher so it's set back behind I love mask stamping I just think the result when you remove the mask yes yeah, great it's brilliant um can I just ask Kay Rogers has asked how heavy does the acetate need to be is there a particular weight no, it doesn't have to be a particular weight at all. You don't need construction weight. Just a normal window sheet will be fine for this. Great. There we go. It's not going to be used for any kind of construction. You're not folding it. It's not going to hold anything up. It's going to be stuck behind this piece here. She did apologise and say sorry she missed it when you said That's that. That's all right. <laughs> so I'll just ink that one up. And again, we're just now going to stamp that one down. You could do this with so many other images, couldn't you? I mean, yeah. not just bottles. I mean, there's so much on there that you could just add colour to. Okay, so that's done. Now, again, don't move the stamp. I now need to take this off. 
take my mask off. So now we can see we've got that in the front and then I'm going to bring this one in, put it at the same marker. The next demo I do is a straightforward single image, but I just wanted to go in with this one first just to show you, you know, the great effects that you can get. So now I'm going to pop that one in place, make sure everything lines up and then ink it again. Okay. Um... Uh, where am I? Where am I? It. Kirsty Michelle said, "Stays on always smells like Bakewell cake to me." Yes, it does. Oh it's yeah, that almond it's smell, marzipan yeah. smell, almost. It is a lovely, yeah. lovely smell. So now we've got that one. So now we can shift our stamp again. Okay. Okay. We don't need to. I'm going to leave this one actually because I'll go into the next place with this. So let's just go and give that a little quick. Just in um, case quick... anyone's not seen these magic color slides, this part that you're doing with the masking. It's not necessary for the actual nope. construction of the card, is it? Oh, no, no, no. So just the first one that you stamped is what you but need. But this is, this. you will do your stamping and decoration is the first thing you will do. Yeah. Because you have to have this before you can put the card together. Yeah, I mean, I just mean the, the second and third bottle that you oh, stamped. Oh, yeah, no, no, no. Are not and you'll see yeah. that in the next demo because I won't be doing that in the next one. So just in case just people are sure thinking, wow, you need to do a, <laughs> need to do a lot. But no. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. Sam's just making I, an extra special card. Yeah. And then this one here, oh, I've just popped there. And then again, pick this one up. Give it a good. We've got the Creative Craft product stamping platform there, which I noticed yep. is getting very low on stock. So <laughs> if you've been thinking about it, people, I mean, I'm talking very small double figures left at the moment. So be quick if you wanted to purchase that. So there you can see now we've got that one complete. Now we need to just finish this one off. So pop it back in the same place. Take your masking sheet. Lay that one down. That's all where it needs to be. Link it up. And now we have our three bottles. So now I can take that off. Keep that. I stick it onto the, you know, put it onto the front here. Because you can certainly get a few more uses out of that. But now you've got these two pieces. So you now need to color that one in, but you'll see that these will fit perfectly over the top. Brilliant. And that's what you Absolutely want. Perfect. So then the piece in the middle is what we're going to pull up. So just wanted to show you that process because when I do the next one, I'm going to already have gone and done all of that. So the next one, like I said, will be a bit quicker. So let's just pop that to one side. Um, is that's that Marie Bland has asked about the, the mask that you were using. Did you say that was a masking sheet? Um, yeah, you can buy the masking sheets. That particular colour, this is a roll, to be honest. I've had this, I got this when I was abroad. I've had it for many, many years. But you can buy masking sheets. You can get maybe five in a pack. Yeah. And um, I think, haven't we got them on Creative Craft product? I'll have to double check. Sure. I can't remember, remember if we have stock. or not. Um, but yeah, they're, they're called masking sheets. But you can use post it notes. You could just use, like I said, copy paper and just maybe lightly spray it with a, a what spray. What I use is um, a stencil glue on copy paper because yeah. it's. You can remove yeah, you it again. can do that as well. Yep. Right, so now here's one I made earlier. So <laughs> you can see now this one goes over the top and we've got the coloured bottles there underneath. So now we need to attach all of this. So I've cut my matte layer, which has got this lovely stitch detail. So I'll get that one stuck down, first of all. By the way, everybody, if you're if you're sort of out of time, not able to watch the whole hour or you're just joining us, the demonstration that Sam is doing today, both demonstrations will be going up onto YouTube over the course of the weekend. So please make sure that you are subscribed to the Craft Stash YouTube channel um, and you'll catch them. And basically yeah. every live we do, we try to take those demonstrations and pop them up as single videos for you. So you don't need to sit through the whole hour next time you need the inspiration once your products get to your front door. Yeah, and I've also got two tutorials to go for the craft stash channel and i've got two tutorials from my channel as well so fabulous there's going to be plenty of inspiration <laughs> and i will be using this and i'm sure and you'll more. do lives and things as well on yeah, your own channels definitely. with them so definitely Lots okay about. so there's a couple of ways that you can stick this in i think on the craft stash tutorials i show one way and then on my tutorials i show another it's just going to be down to preference and what you feel most comfortable with so okay. what i'm going to do first of all this time i think is stick um this one down first of all so you want to grab yourself some tape i'm going to use my thin red tape here mm -hmm. double-sided tape's fine and you just want to pop that along the four sides here okay. um deborah had sorry deborah has said that uh pink frog has um stencil sheets on craft stash 
she's got some so there's oh, some there we, we could have a look at the pink frog brand to be honest the tape you don't um you could just put it on these two sides in fact i'm going to just so you can see that it does it can be done if you're going to do it along all four if you do it along the top make sure it will fit between this little bit here which oh, is why yeah. this thin this is yeah. the thin craft stash red tape but you don't actually even need to put the tape there anyway so i'm just going to leave it on those two sides because i think that's just going to be easier for everyone and then just take your backing off like so and now we want to stick this behind here so if i take i want you to be able to see in fact you probably see it okay no i do let me get some black card it's just a bit easier to see all of this hopefully you can see the acetate better yeah. anyway and then you just want to make sure that the acetate doesn't come over the finger pull area there and that's why i use this to line it up you would have saw me do at the beginning so there we go now that one's stuck down and I'm just going to give that a little brush. And you want to make sure you've got, you know, this is going to be the last chance to kind of wipe the back of the acetate there. In fact, it's good to lay it on the black cardstock so you can see any dust or any bits that you might miss, mm -hmm. you know. But now we got our bottles there. Nice. Then with this one, I'm going to use my liquid glue because you've got the wiggle time if you need it. And now you want to sit, open it up and pop this one behind it and line it up and you'll you'll get a really crisp image all of a sudden because you can see if i pull it across it's a little bit blurred like but then when you move it there we go perfectly crisp it's there image and then i'm just going to lay that down like so Lovely. okay there we go there's a little bit poking out the bottom then i don't want to shift that up because obviously it's the right place so what i'm going to just do it's obviously a little bit off when I cut that one. It's just cut it from the back there. It's more important that the images line up, not the yes. panels. Yeah, you don't need to worry about how any of that looks. Um, where did um, you get that in, brush from, inside. Sam? That's a Nouveau one. Oh, there we go. Nouveau tonic. Yeah. Nouveau tonic. Had that for a um, while. That was a oh, yeah. question from Laws Larson. And <laughs> hang on a second. Uh, there was one more. Oh, Linda has asked... Have you got the pull stamp in your new collection? The pull stamp? No, it's an arrow and it's embossed. There we go. This one. We so, go. in fact, that's just where I'm about to go with the next part. So, <laughs> Sorry. if you want the pull, keep it this way up. If you don't want the pull, flip it over and use your arrow. Yeah. So, again, try to do it so that you've got the options. Mm -hmm. um, so, yeah, it's up to you if you do want it or not. I'm going to leave it on this one. And then that's going to go in the middle. And this is now what divides the two now we need to put the tracks in place so you get your die that will cut i'm going to stick with the black card because i think it's quite easy for you to see yeah. everything here i like to run this die here through twice Let me just grab it here there's the little arrow as well that you've got we have got the action set it's been designed it's even gone i think now it has been ordered so there is an action set going to be coming out a stamp set that has every action you can think of the mm -hmm. words um it's even got arrows and all kinds of different things so it is coming i promise because i know i've been saying it for a long time um but it is there it will so be it will be coming <laughs> so this die here just run it through twice um because i'm using the 300 gsm i think running it through twice and layering them on top of each other um is the perfect kind of width for the for them to act as the track yeah. if you've got a thinner cardstock then you might want to run that through three times and then stick them on top of each other so you'll see i've got four that look like this and then these two so i want to stick these together so, just put a little bit of glue Oop. sorry it's typical isn't it when you go live it always blocks there we go oh of course every time <laughs> okay and now um, just stick me... those two together so you just got a little bit of depth now to the card Perfect and you want to do the same day. with these pieces Lots of people commenting on Father's Day coming up in the UK. Yes, I'm going to be doing a Father's Day week. So week. you're going to get a week of back to back masculine makes. So whether it's birthday, Father's Day, anything. Great, we all yeah, need that. So that is coming. And this, some of this will feature, and there's some lovely newish, newish product, maybe product that we're just reinventing, like not even reinventing, that's not the word, um, just sharing again. 
reminding people, I guess. <laughs> Absolutely. And making you've made this easier as well. Make everything okay. quick and easy. So you want to have it so you have one facing in from this side. You're going to flip another one so it's facing that way. And then that's going to go along the bottom. Okay. That's going to be the track. So if I open this up, basically, just to give you an understanding of how this will work, this is going to slide up. And then these are the stoppers right. for this piece here. Okay, yeah. so just giving you that visual, it then makes more sense for popping this in. Mm -hmm. So what I like to do, first of all, is lay the bottom stopper down. So sit this down so it's back in its little home there so it fits nicely. Yeah. And then stick this one right at the bottom. That's the stopper so that doesn't fall through. So just keep it all nice and so straight. You can see why you'd benefit from having a double thickness or even triple thickness. Yes, now. yeah. So that there is butted right up to the bottom. Okay, and now that won't go down any further. So now what we need to do is pop these along and you want them to be, if I just stick this one first. It's gonna sit right next to that little bit that comes out and then you just wanna keep it so it just lines up nice and straight along. Oh, that one can come down a little bit. Uh, Viv has asked if you could use foam for the tracks. Yes, you could do. If you wanna die cut it in foam, you can. But in case anybody doesn't, then you can also do it this way as well. Yeah. Let me just sort that one out. What it's actually easiest to do now is bring this one up and then you don't want it to come past that piece there. So keep it there and then open it up. In fact, that was where I had it anyway. And that will now whoop, just sit around there and run all the way down. Just keep it nice and straight. By keeping it straight means you're piece is going to flow nice and up and down yeah. if it's a little bit tight in places it's maybe because you've gone wonky with this piece and with all of these i always say just practice first use some of your you know maybe card stocks that you're not so you know keen on mm -hmm. some paper that you don't really you know not too bothered by but you'll see it all fits within that pocket I think like so and then do a dry run just close it and just test that that is going to slide nicely that. which Perfect. it does OK, and you see it hides nicely in its pocket there. Lovely. So now we can just you can put double sided tape on here. You could use that red tape if you've got the thin or you can use your glue. Obviously, if you use your glue, make sure you don't add a lot because you don't want it to ooze out and go into anywhere where it shouldn't. It's the worst thing with these kind of kinetic cards. Oh, yes. So I'm just going <laughs> to give that one more little brush because once you close it, that's it. That's and then just fold that over. Like so. Okay, so now that's all enclosed. So like I said, that could now be a gift tag. You could pop some ribbon on maybe through here. You could have that hanging off. And like I said, if you use some even more foam, you might have to watch the ends here, but there's no reason why you don't have to have the acetate on top. And when you lift this, there's a gift card there. Yeah. So there's, you know what I mean? There's ways to, oh, see, and let the glue dry. Um, there's ways to... Um, to change this i'm just going to make sure that i didn't stick that yeah it's always difficult when you do the demos just give yourself time with it make sure each stage you know you give it time to dry yeah. but i'm happy with that so now make sure i've got my card opening the, the right way the yellow paper on there because you could use it for so much yeah is that from that paper pack yeah all the papers from that pad Great. and then just going to stick that now down in the middle feel like I didn't put enough glue on that top corner, but I can always fix that later. Like so. Now we can decorate. So I've got the glass there. I've done some more of the, the beer bottles. I mean, you could have another one there. What was the song? 99 bottles of beer on the wall. Oh, song? you could go up to a lot more than 99. <laughs> I've got the disc there. So we use that. Let's just do a little bit of decoration. This is always my the fun part. You can see I use all my scraps. I was going to say. <laughs> I spotted that and I thought she's been colouring in. Was that while we were having our meeting the other day? You were colouring. Yeah, I think it was. Um, when you've done this way with the acetate fixed to the base part, you can stick onto the acetate. So it doesn't matter if that goes over. But when I show you the other way, you're pulling the acetate up. So you need to make sure that you don't. Right. So, um, yeah, just be careful there. But we'll have that one. Let's do that one there. And then let's do a few little music notes because it is a celebration after all. Oh. Do you dance when you go to parties? Oh, yes. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, right, now I need to think about my sentiments. So I've got this one here. Did someone say happy hour? And I've just cut a little bit 
of cardstock that's a bit thinner. So I think I'm going to have this kind of overhanging into the area. So I'm just going to cut it on a slope mm -hmm. and then we'll stick that down. Let's just add a little bit of foam. Sorry, Lou, we'll probably go over a little bit. You know what I'm uh, like. I don't mind. I can't believe the viewers <laughs> will mind either. <laughs> It's like it doing off Friday, lunch normal lives. Sauce. Yeah. Okay. So just pop a little bit of foam on here. And all of these pictures, all the sample pictures will go up this weekend onto my um, Facebook page, but they're also on the listings on the Craft Stash page as well. So you can see a lot of them there, but like the ones I'm making now, mm -hmm. they will all go up as well. So we'll just pop that one on there and then just cut that on the same angle. So that can kind of maybe come out there or maybe have it might have it down here yeah kind of like you know what i mean you want to you don't want to obscure what much. i might do is just pull this up now so we can see how it all is going to look so we could have it maybe up there actually i think get away with yeah. it at the top yeah i think we'll do it up there let's just snip away this is the nice thing now it's just playing around and that's my favorite bit yeah that's what we all love doing it's all the the detail just trim that. Um, Lords Larson asks, could you use Kalau for this? Um, well, I use Kalau just to stick the um, the mats and layers down. I wouldn't, I, you never really see me use Kalau on the smaller areas and stuff. But yeah, well, I've just used it on the... big on that, isn't it? Yeah, on the mats and layers, but your quick grab glue is going to be better and foam really for all, like your decoration. So ah, but pop. then um, Gemma has said that she did use Kalau when she created the samples. So I suppose, yeah, I mean, everyone has a preference, don't they? There's no yeah. wrong or right, really. No, we'll pop that one, I think, there. Of course, you're free to stick onto the acetate there. Yeah, so I'm probably putting maybe more than you, maybe some would, but I'm always about going a bit over the top with my cards anyway. So we'll pop that one there. And then you've got your ice cube. Let's just do one of those. And we've got the little lemon slice. I've kind of thought of this one, you know, those particular um, ciders or beers where you have a, a lemon or a no. lime in the no in no the idea top. what you're talking about sam <laughs> so we've got the lime there maybe not that one might pop the little that one instead and then we can um i think call the card done i might always add a little bit more to it later and you'll see that in my pictures <laughs> <laughs> but you get the idea yeah. i love like i said all this kind of stuff but i've got all those they'd be nice maybe to decorate the envelope um or the inside of the card and we should have another music note i probably would have put the smaller one at the, the single one at the top but as long as it's all kind of within the square then you know it's going to fit in your envelope yes. but um there we go if i just close that one down i always like to just there we go so that's how the card will look like i said if you flip it over you could have a black arrow there instead that would look nice as well if you want that to pop and then you just pull that up and you've Gorgeous. got your beers absolutely love that it's fabulous right. lovely isn't it i really like that one really really nice yeah thank lovely. you um i'll come back to myself just for a minute to give you a chance to tidy up and then you've got another demonstration haven't you yeah i'm going to quickly show about the, the dies on that beautiful bouquets and then we'll go on to the the last card which will be much quicker great okay i'll give you a moment just to clear up then okay thank you isn't that fabulous absolutely brilliant and do you know what? it just makes me want to create reveal cards for the rest of the afternoon now if work will allow um while i'm here just to remind you that there's up to 12 pound off of bundles when you're purchasing so go over to craft session and take a look at that you'll be able to easily see and if you want some more inspiration as well if you hover over the items that are available this isn't just for Sam's collection. This is for anything on Craft Sash. I think 99% of the products on there have an image. When you hover over, you'll see that. So you see lovely cards that have been made using that product to give you a little more inspiration. Now, uh, just a quick reminder again, if you missed it earlier, of Marta's collection, which launched on Wednesday this week. This is from Craft Stash & Co brand. So Craft Stash & Co is, of course, a brand from Craft Stash, as you can see. Uh, and we've brought together some of the most talented designers in the UK, mostly people who have not had collections before and this is the opportunity for them to have a go at designing a collection uh, showcase it to yourself 
Um, and do you know, it's been absolutely fabulous. Martyrs is called On the Border. We've also had one from Sasha Reed and from Ashley Thompson as well. And we've got many more lined up. It's nice small collections that suit most people's pockets and budgets. This one is beautiful, delicate laces, florals, uh, vintage shabby chic type feel to it. Um, go and check this out on Craft Stash. It is there under the, if you go to brands, you can find all of our brands there. You might be surprised at how many we've actually got now, um, but just look for Craft Stash and co and you'll be able to browse all of those they're absolutely fabulous prices as well um sam are you okay for us to come back to you yeah i'm ready lovely thank you very much i'm going to let you take over again lovely okay so for anybody that missed at the beginning and we've also mentioned this on the website i mentioned it during my um launch video as well on my youtube channel and i've posted it on facebook so we just want to make sure that everyone sees it but unfortunately there was an issue um when this was in being manufactured and the dies never got flipped. So basically, for anybody thinking, well, what does she mean? If I just quickly pull one out here. So for example, this one, is it that one? Yeah, so when I flip it over with the blade facing up, you can see it's the right mm -hmm. um, way it needs to be. But of yeah. course, that's no good because that isn't how you would cut it. So um, we've given you a free download. So there will be a pop-up. If you do place this in your basket, there will be a pop-up mm -hmm. and it will allow you to download the correct images. Um, but obviously you've got all your sentiments here. And if you just like things to be stamped and you don't really cut anyway, then it's not going to be an issue. But we did want to obviously compensate in some way. So that's what we've done. But I just want to show you that you can still use it. So I've just die cut that one there. Okay. Mm -hmm. But now if you flip that over... And then I'm just going to use, you could just put a little bit of low tech tape on the back. Um, I'm going to do this, make sure that will come back off. It will do. I haven't stuck it too much. I just put a loose bit of washi tape or something. But just then place that just so it doesn't move. And then take your stamp and position it over the top. I mean, we've kind of become over the last couple of years we've become used to stamp and then die cut but there's nothing to say you can't die cut and then stamp anyway i mean no, some people I know, still my do. mum actually still die cuts and stamps does she uh, yeah. yeah but you're you're right i think i think before stamping platforms people done a bit of both didn't they yeah absolutely no. but now and then you can see you've got your perfectly obviously yeah, that's a bit of a stronger tape there but you've got your Perfect. stamped image so the other thing we did say as well is if you'd like to do the um, mirror stamping, then you've yep. got the right dies already for it as well. Absolutely. So it's not, you know, it's not wasted. Um, and we wanted to just show some other ways. You did mention that if you're using these stamps as the focal piece on your reveal cards, you're not die cutting them out anyway? No, exactly. But there you go. So it's, it, it, it works. It's just obviously not what you would expect when you go to take it out. So just make sure, you know, you see that pop up, but you're also aware with that one there. Yeah. Okay, so now let's go on to the last demo. Let's pop all that to one side. So for this one, I'm going to use the six by six. So I've already gone ahead and stamped this one. So I'm not going to do any of that stamping now because you've seen what you need mm -hmm. to do. Yeah. Um, and we've got the videos coming. But I've already gone ahead. I've colored this one. I've used some Nuvo drops just to oh, go over sprinkles. The, um, the sprinkles there. And I've used some of my accent glaze on the, the icing. And then I've also coloured the balloons there. Oh, and Sam, then... I'm hungry. <laughs> <laughs> I've, coloured... I've done a rainbow cake for this one. So um, you can see that one there. Now, I think I've probably got these because I was going to do it, but I don't need to do it. Okay, so it's exactly the same way. So obviously, I've already stamped now. So we need to go and add the tape to these sides. Again, just do the two sides. You don't need to do all four. Um, let's just take... I'm going to add a personal comment while you're looking for the end of your tape. Um, Debbie Main has said she, uh, to be honest, it may work out better for her. She never lines up the die correctly. Um, I have, so I do lots of videos for Craft Stash, but I do have my own YouTube channel as well. So it's just paper crafting with Lily Collins. This is just a little personal shout out, but I've got a video on Go there. It's, it. been <laughs> it's been recently uploaded, Debbie, and it shows you how you can get perfect uh, lined up dies and stamped images every time so uh, if you get yeah. time go and have a look at that and anyone else who needs help with that because it's a really really simple technique Sam you've probably come across it before yeah, um, but cute. yeah there's a video on it so it should help you with that if you need to okay so again I've cut the largest one there and then just like I did for the five by seven I'm now going to sit this one 
So it's in the middle, just making sure that your acetate stays within mm -hmm. your finger pull area there. That is about right. Again, I can't look right over the top because I've got my camera no, there. You look good. But you'll be able to get right over yours. <laughs> okay, so that is now where I need it to be. And then we we'll take this one and again, add your glue onto the back. So this is where I'm using the clow for that question that was um you know asked before. Yeah. So again, I'm just going to pop this behind. So I'm not sticking it onto there yet. I'm just holding it until I get that lined up because it can be like blurred. Look, can you see that? It's like if you haven't got your glasses on. So just keep moving it, and you'll all of a sudden you'll get it really crisp and bang on, and that's what you need to do. And then I'm just going to tuck that under, and just let that drop down. There we go. And put glue on the acetate. <laughs> <laughs> if that ever happens you ever get glue on your acetate obviously be careful because this is solvent and the rubbing alcohol would rub it off but if you just spray a tiny tinsy tinsy piece you know on the end of your kitchen towel there yeah. and i can just rub that straight off there we go um somebody That's asked i'm sorry there's so many comments it's already gone but somebody did ask if you've colored that cake in with oh here we go so yolandi has asked is it colored with pencils or markers Coloured pencils. There we go. You, you're yeah, pretty good I think with your Gemma's, pencils. Gemma tends to use alcohol markers for her samples, and I use coloured pencils. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Rena Hurst just ordered the 5 by 7 She's excited, but her husband might not be quite as excited as oh she dear. is. Oh, <laughs> dear. <laughs> We're excited with you, though. <laughs> so I've just cut the frame here. When you cut it in um, holographic card, if you use your embossing, you know, or shim or an embossing um, mat with it, you'll get this lovely embossed detail. You Aww. can see it just there. Yeah. But also use that as a stencil, and that's on the sample. So if you look close at them when they're uploaded, you'll be able to see that as well. Yeah. So I'm just going to add see my... That holographic really well. Yeah. Holographic and birthday cards, especially yes. when there's cake and stuff, any kind of celebratory kind of cards i think color the holographic looks great and then this one is going to go around the edge there i had so holographic um, nails when i went on my honeymoon oh nice oh, i bet that looked lovely in the sun yeah that's what brought the light and stuff yeah laying nice. on the beach looking at all the yeah. rainbow colors <laughs> okay so then i've got this one but then i thought i'll do what Gemma did i think i'm going to use the holographic so i've cut it you can see the pull there mm -hmm. and then that is going to go and i think that's actually going to look really oh, nice wow. Yeah, I love that. Um, okay, so I'm just going to pop that there so it can lean against that bit. So we're going to do exactly the same. So you've got run your, run that piece through. This one, the measurements on it are slightly different to the 5 by 7 so obviously it's a bit shorter. But just pop those on top of each other so you build up that little kind of wall. Such a cheerful cake. Thank you, Rosalyn. <laughs> it is. Thank oh, you, everybody. I am, I'm seeing it moving in the corner of my eye. I'm sure um, you'll go back and have a look. <laughs> yeah, I'll have a look. And then pop this one on top. So just doing exactly the same. Oh, Jill's, Jill's just said she just ordered. She's spent ages trying to figure out how to do this without dye. So these will be really helpful. Oh, like I said, and I'm always very transparent about that. Everything can be done without dyes. Yeah. It's just the time it might take. It's whether you like to use cutting knives. It's whether, you know you can be bothered to do the precision and the getting your rulers out and stuff because there's there's a place for everything um and that's what i've always tried to do i've got my dies for those that like and enjoy the dies i do my thumb folds where you don't you can literally have nothing you don't even need a die machine you know so we try to have a real nice mixed bag of of different you know yeah. crafts and for different abilities as well um so i think we change as well over time over the years we evolve yeah Okay, so now I'm going to add my glue to the... I always like to put the base one down first. So I'm going to add the glue there. Just sit that so it's in its little home there, like so. And then this one here will fit. Am I in shot? Yes, yeah, you are, yeah. Um, just the bottom. Sometimes I tend to go off. You'll see that that will go. In fact, all you need to do, if I take that away, for this one, you can just literally line that up with the very bottom of the card. Easy. Yeah. Okay, so like so. And then I'm just going to bring that up. And you don't want it to go past. You want the bottom of this piece to be in between the finger pull bit there. Okay. So, I mean, it doesn't matter if it comes up, to be honest, but. No. It's easier to keep it all together, isn't it? Yeah. Like so. And then all the way down one side here. 
it's funny how crooked that is because I thought I was completely straight on my board, but clearly not. Um, and then that one there is going to go to the top and that will actually, that's going to come up a little bit higher. That's fine. Just follow the side. It will all fit in. So wherever it fits, just make sure. So this one, just butt it right up to the bottom. That won't go past the finger pull. Because I remember when I was doing designing it all, those are the things I was looking out for. Oh, I've added the glue to the wrong side, but it's fine because I need it on that side eventually. Yeah. But I'm just going to... Um... Should we do a You're shout out to your amazing graphic designer who helps you with the... Uh... Sarah. Yeah, Sarah, she's fantastic. She's fabulous. She does all, all of this. all great at but we kind yeah. of have our own designers that we work with on most collections. And Yeah. Yeah, it must be hard when <laughs> when Sam says, so, I want a card that moves like this, but it does that. And... <laughs> we've literally, we've just done one together. I gave her, I sent through all the measurements. Lou, you know what we do. Yeah. Um, sent it all through to Sarah and then she was she's put it all into the the file for me for me to then test and then i show her it she goes you know what i wondered what this one was going to look like yeah yeah <laughs> yeah it's amazing isn't it when things actually come together and go, yeah. this is what i meant but they're so good they are such a good group of designers it's a Everyone. fun it's a fun process stressful at times but it is a fun process absolutely okay so again just do a dry run just make sure that that can slide down it's not getting hit by anything and then just leave it out i think whilst you stick this bit down and then just close that up mm -hmm. again just give it time to dry it does look fantastic with that holographic and now oh i really love this one yeah <laughs> looks so nice okay and then let's go as it's down so i'm going to do this as a top fold no. is there any reason for using a top fold rather than side no not really no. no a lot of people prefer side folds because then you've got no worry of the car kind of you know like falling open um but you can also sometimes i put a stopper inside the card and then have the back is where you write your message yes so it's almost it's more of a tent fold rather mm. than a top fold so yeah i think i just I, I don't know i prefer top folds personally but yeah, I, yeah any, I anything goes i have a thing for sort of symmetry so. yeah i like the balance i'm the same yeah, yeah. and photographing them is easier i've noticed <laughs> yes it is no you're right it is for those who do that one's going to go right in the middle there, like so. And now we can add our decoration. So I've already got the sentiment there, but I've got kind of what I call like a subtitle. So we've got the enjoy the carbs there. So I just pop a little bit of glue. I just cut that one using a circle die. And then let's add a little bit of foam on the back here. Let me just take a look at the Craft Stash website and see how we're doing. Like so. And then that one. So let's do maybe. Oh, okay, so it like looks that. like we still have everything in stock at the moment. Which one's trending? Is it the 5 by 7 I can't still? see on this. Oh. I'm only on my phone, so... Um, <laughs> Do that one. Let's see. That one. And I've got the little spoon as well. We'll have the enjoy the carbs can be down there. And then let's stick the spoon. Probably don't need the glue there actually. We'll just do the bottom. Sure Something like that anyway. I would spend a bit more time. Um, I'm gonna do one with the balloons revealing as well. I want to do a version of that. But now reveal that and you've got your colourful very bright birthday card there. I think that Lovely. looks great. Yeah, I love Gorgeous. that one. With the and let me just bring back in this one here. There's the five by seven. Bear with me. I am just there you go. So the uh, six by six is trending at the moment. Oh, not so by many. That's caught up then. Not by many. By it's before. pretty even at the minute. Hang on a minute. Hang on a minute. <laughs> no, it's not. It's the other way around. It's the five. It by is the five. Seven. Yeah, it's really I'm looking at stock levels. Six by sixes. I'm looking at stock levels, not what's sold. It's the other way around. It is the five by seven. Sorry, apologies <laughs> for that. Either way, there's a little bit left of each. There you go, guys. Not and I'll be lot. sharing. Like I said, I'll be using these um, and uh, on the lives and things like that as well. So fabulous. Yeah, I hope you've enjoyed these. Thank you, everybody. I can see all the wonderful comments. I will go back and have a look. Thank you, um, If you've Sam. got any specific questions, if we've missed them, drop me a message. I'm on my Facebook page. So Absolutely. you can ask me directly there. 
definitely. Thank you ever so much for showing us that. I'm sure you can um, go and have some cake and beer now or whatever you fancy. <laughs> um, but fingers crossed we'll be back again with you very soon for another launch because I know you're really busy working on them at the moment. Yes, yeah. Really excited for the next one. A little bit longer now, which is nice. We've got a bit of a break in between them. So I think that's in about maybe seven, eight weeks time. Yeah, oh, um, nice so break that would be nice. Two. Yeah, lovely. Thank you again. Let's uh, come back to me. I'll announce some winners. So I'll see you soon, Sam. Take care. Thank you, everybody. Take care. Bye bye. Bye. Lovely. So who wants to know who's won those pieces? So we've got um, one of the die sets, the mechanisms, I believe it's the five by seven plus some stamping die sets coming out to two of you. They are people who have been commenting while Sam's been demonstrating. So thank you so much for all your comments, everybody who's been watching. Um, the two winners are from Facebook. We have Shona Smith. Congratulations to you. And from YouTube, we have Brenda Walsh. Congratulations to you too. Now, if both of you could email customer service at craftstash.co.uk, um, we will just send us your postal address and we will get those prizes out to you as soon as possible. Or you can drop Sam a message as well, either way. Um, now we've got a third chance to win. If you are not a Shona or Brenda, you can win as well. Potentially you can enter and we will pick a name uh, ready for next Friday. So we then contact you and we do a shout out to say who's won around Friday lunchtime. So what you need to do this week is go over to our Instagram page. If you're on Instagram, it's simply uh, Craft Stash, I think. I think it is just Craft Stash. Might be Craft Stash Co. UK. Go and type up Craft Stash. You'll soon find us. If you've not already followed us, please do. And there's a post there giving you all the details. Go and enter that now and you could be coming away with the third prize. Thank you again, everybody. Don't forget we have things like deals of the day, bargains of the week, all available on Craft Stash to see. If you are shopping for uh, Sam's items today, if you want to push your order up to £30, maybe you need some cardstock, adhesive, whatever it may be, add those in, go over £30 and then you'll get your free postage in the UK. So well worth stocking up on the essentials because Craft Stash does have so many essentials in there. Um, you've obviously got money off bundles as well. So a little bit of something for everybody. I will be back next Friday as well. So um, enjoy your weekend, everybody. I hope the weather stays as lovely as it is here at the moment for, for you all. 